chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. Your home for gains and brains. And today we have a quick video going over, in my opinion, three of the most overrated and overhyped foods for building muscle. Now, I wanna make a quick caveat, guys. Let's get something straight here. Videos like this and other videos titled this type of thing or articles or whatever, a lot of them are really stupid, ultimately. You'll commonly see things like 10 foods to grow your glutes or five foods to pack on muscle, five foods to build bigger biceps or to get visible abs or something, right? Guys, there's not one single special food or magic food or type of food that's going to directly make a body part big. I can't even say this without laughing. Directly make a body part bigger or more toned. One single food is not going to do that. So are certain foods better and ultimately more healthy than others? Obviously, yes. One of the goofier trends we've seen in the fitness community and influencers in the past few years is the rise of anabolic eating. Basically, these people who think that the big numbers on food labels are all that matter. As long as something tastes good and has protein in it, it's automatically healthy, right? It's common for new lifters to solely obsess over just protein. They think if they just eat protein, protein, protein all the time, they're gonna get these big muscles. And similarly, a lot of people nowadays are scared of both carbs and fat. They think carbs are gonna make them fat, sugar's gonna kill them. Other people think that fat is going to just make them fat, as if they're gonna eat dietary fat and it's just gonna stick to their body. So for our purposes in this video, growing a muscle and building muscle, we're going to focus on three foods that might not be the best to help you achieve that goal. And we're gonna dive into the first one right now, which is egg whites. Egg whites are a classic bro food, right? Like, oh man, just get a carton of egg whites, bro. It's just a bunch of clean protein because God forbid we eat two grams of saturated fat per egg. And there's a little bit of cholesterol in whole eggs too. Oh, we're all gonna die. So egg whites are overrated for a number of reasons. The first of which simply being the cost. Egg whites, guys, are far more expensive than just getting whole eggs. I can speak for myself here in Los Angeles. A dozen eggs is roughly two and a half up to three dollars, depending on the week. Meanwhile, a carton of egg whites, like a small, normal size carton, it's usually seven to ten dollars. And the funny thing is, too, egg whites have less overall nutrition than whole eggs but they're still that much more expensive because they're modified and they come in liquid form. But that's why all these guys like them, right? It's like, oh, it's pure protein, brah. Gotta get 200 grams of protein a day, brah, even though I only weigh 150 pounds, brah. Protein alone is not the only thing you need for a holistic diet to aid in gym progress. And the real nutrients, the vitamins and minerals of eggs come in the yolk, which is where the fat is stored. You looking at my gut? Dietary fat is not bad for you, it's not gonna make you fat, it's not gonna kill you, especially from natural sources like this. In fact, dietary fat is essential for your overall health, especially for hormone production and regulation. Fat is also the most calorically dense macronutrient with nine calories per gram compared to four for protein and carbs. This means that dietary fat is excellent for bulking and building muscle. So don't let these anabolic kitchen people scare you away from dietary fat. Dietary fat is essential for human health, and if your fat intake is too low overall, you can suffer negative effects in your cognitive abilities, your gym performance, and even your skin. Now moving on to overrated food number two here, protein powder. Now, once again, I'm not saying that protein powder is bad, I'm somebody who uses it myself, but in terms of what people think it does and how essential it is as part of the fitness and bodybuilding, powerlifting, gym lifestyle, it has been completely overblown. Ultimately, protein powder is a matter of convenience. It's easy to store, it can be mixed in with a number of recipes, it's easy to take in bags with you when traveling, it's just a simply convenient food to have. But at the end of the day, protein powder is just that protein. Unless you're getting a plant-based variety of protein powder, 
Whey and casein are simply derivatives of milk. And whole milk, by the way, similar to whole eggs versus egg whites, has far more vitamins and minerals in it than protein powder, and it's more calorically dense given the increased fat. And as I was saying, supplement companies are really the main reason why protein powder is viewed as so essential as a pre and post workout thing. These supplement companies and these bodybuilders who are used as advertisements to it, they've convinced beginners, and again, I fell for this too myself, they've convinced beginners that they need four to five protein shakes a day or they're gonna go catabolic and lose all their gains. That's simply not true. If you're eating a sufficient amount of food without protein powder ever touching your tongue, you're going to grow without ever using it. I've talked about novice purgatory before, guys. A lot of novices guzzle down protein powder on a daily basis, thinking it's gonna get them huge, but they still train like shit, and their overall diet is shit. You can get all of that protein as well as other vitamins and minerals from simply eating meat and drinking milk. Red meat, fish, and milk especially have a number of healthy fats inherently in them. Omega-3, iron, zinc, and vitamin B. So if you're new to the fitness game and you see these crazy ads for protein powder, five times glucose absorption into the muscle, it's gonna help you burn fat more rapidly after the workout. Just know that's a marketing gimmick and there's not much truth to it. So the final food on this list, it's really two foods because I couldn't pick between just one of them. So I guess I lied to you, it's actually four foods, but these are rice and oats. And once again, as you guys have seen, I eat both of these foods myself, but ultimately in terms of building a muscle and how many people kind of revere them, I do think they qualify as overrated. Now we all know the meme of chicken, rice, and broccoli whenever a celebrity does a bunch of juice to get big for a movie and they get asked what they do. Oh, it's just chicken, rice, and broccoli all day. That is definitely a healthy plate. But in terms of building serious muscle, especially as a skinny guy, as a quote unquote hard gainer, to gain a lot of weight and muscle mass and strength rapidly, for example, in the novice phase, high school, college, that type of thing, these type of foods might not be your best bet. Now, to be fair, I am Italian. I'm pretty biased toward the pasta and bread side of things. But most people I've talked to as well share the same sentiment. Rice and oats, as good as they are, they're pretty boring. Most people don't look forward to them and they can be hard to eat in mass quantities. So if you have a naturally low appetite, trying to eat these foods on a daily basis in big quantities is probably not gonna help you. Girl, you never think they're gonna bowl the oatmeal. I think your best option is to include them within other recipes. So for example, with rice, instead of having just simple plain old brown or white rice, maybe have rice in a stir fry, maybe make a burrito. The same thing can be said for oats. Instead of having just regular oats, which is like eating cement, put them in a protein shake. Have granola and honey and berries or something with yogurt. Modifying these classic foods is gonna keep the nutritional benefits to them, but ultimately make them easier to eat and put down in bigger quantities which is going to help you add a more size and build more muscle. If you're looking for more tasty carb sources that are easier to put down, I would recommend pasta, potatoes, and bread myself. It's ultimately up to you, but if you guys think you're gonna get big eating a half a cup of oats and half a cup of rice all the time, you're probably mistaken. So these are my three, I guess four, overrated muscle building foods, guys. Tell me yours in the comments below. Tell me what you think like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to the Patreon supporters as always. And I will catch you guys next time.